Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead and today we are going to turn this old, this was our meat chicken coop, as you can see, I have a sign and we had a door for him to go outside there. And I started tearing it apart already, but we are going to turn this into two stalls because we are just running out of room with babies and we have babies coming. These girls are, <laughs> these girls here are two, dark goats there if you can see she's due monday and uh so we gotta get some stalls put in because i'm i'm pretty full over here <laughs> we got well she's no longer a baby athena and then there's atlas who's a couple weeks old and the kids are screaming sorry about that so let's get started get this tour out and i think this is going to turn out pretty good Okay, we got her all opened up and I have the plywood on the back. And uh, if you ever taken chicken wire that's stapled, it's the biggest pain in the rear end, but let me show you this tool I have. Uh, it's an oscillating tool. Um, this thing is phenomenal. <laughs> if you're taking off, this goes right up like this against the staples and you can, see if I get the camera on it. You can go right up and it almost peels right off. It's a great tool. So we got our um, plywood on, and now I got, I made one mistake. I did not get a, I need a 10 foot two by four, and all I have is eight footers. And I need another two by four to make this door frame over here. And uh, so I gotta go buy a two by four so I can get this going. <laughs> Well, next up, I'm gonna build the two stall doors. So this was the old door that was on the chicken coop in there that I'm redoing. And so we're gonna cut that one down, take the wire out, and then we're gonna make two of them the same. And we're gonna use this uh, can uh, cattle panels. These are the four inch square ones. These work really good for sheep and goats. That's how all my stalls are made of. So we're gonna use that to divide this a stall as well as we're gonna use that to make our doors. So let's get these doors made. I'll get this one tore apart. We'll get them cut. I got the saws out, uh, the old Admiral miter saw. I love that, had it for a year now over. That thing is <laughs> money. So let's get rolling. So our doors are framed in. I put these little corner brackets in just, uh, these will be on, this is actually the front of the gate. So these corner brackets will, you know, just give it a little more stability. Then I'm gonna flip it over and that's where we're gonna put this on. So this will go on the back side. So I'm gonna cut one of these down in half. They're eight foot, I cut this in half, they're eight foot each. So I'm gonna cut, uh, they're gonna be four by four. So I'm gonna cut one in half here, then put them on and uh, I'll show you how I put them on. You gotta see these new screws I got. Well, hey guys, I wanted to show you these. I'm building two uh, stalls in the barn and I'm making my doors here and I make them out of this camp cattle uh, panels but I wanted to show you these cat claw uh, the cat's claw fasteners these things are amazing <laughs> and they will save you heartache because I've made lots of gates out of these and I always use this camel cattle panel uh, for my gates for my stalls and I'm always pounding staples and these are great. It comes with a quarter inch drive. And I already have one done here, if you can see. But I wanna show you how these work. It just has a little uh, fastener here, and then it has a uh, screw. And these are inch and five eighths. You can get two inch screws, but I didn't want them to go all the way through, so I got inch and five eighths. And all you do is you put it, where you're gonna put your screw, I always put mine, set it, you put it on either side of the, Panel fastening, and this is all panel, uh, cattle panel, and this is also good for fence posts. That simple. <laughs> and it just makes you, I'm telling you, <laughs> you make enough of these, they will, it's not fun on your. But it's pretty, pretty simple. They go right in, and I mean, they will save you a lot of. <laughs> Thank you. 
like that. They just go in, I put four down, this is a four by four gate I'm making, and they go right down, I just go right down the side here with these, and, and these are, <laughs> I saw these online and I was like, these are, I, I, I was getting ready to make these stalls, I'm like, I'm gonna try these out. So I ordered them, I'll put a link in the description below too for these, I ordered them on Amazon, and I got them in about, I think it was about five days because they come out of Montana, but uh, man, I'm glad I made the investment. <laughs> Look at that, it just, it's very easy and it's very strong too. So, it, um, and not only that, but I think they even look better than staples. Like just uh, pounding staples in here because this is what I did for my other stalls I put in and I was like man this you know sitting here pounding staples all around here is not easy on you especially when you're getting old like me <laughs> look at that right in so I'll finish this up as you can see I'm already half done and I'm showing and talking but if I just went to town on these I could have it done in like five minutes, so. But the advertisement on these, if you look at them, they're also made for regular fencing. So if you had like a barbed wire fence and you were repairing it, this is this will work for that instead of pounding staples in a, a fence, you know, fence post. And, I, and they're also the two inch ones are great for like if. You have a rotten fence post, so they would work great in that. But they're in this pack comes with 170 fasteners, so quite a bit of them. These will last me a, a long time, and well, who knows? If I keep building like this, they won't last me a long time. But just so easy, so happy I got these. I almost didn't too. I was almost going to, ah, I'll just staple them all together, man. Glad I made the investment. Done. So I'll show you this gate here. So this is kind of how the front of the gate will look when you're looking at the stall. But this is what it looks like with all the fasteners on it. And I just think it looks better with these on than the staples. And it's definitely, I mean that is sturdy, sturdy. So there, I got my two, <coughs> two doors done. Well, we are almost done. I'll show you the progress. This pen is pretty much done. I hope the sun ain't shining in here. It's kind of giving me some weird shadows here. But I thought I had another set of hinges and I don't. <laughs> so I gotta go grab some hinges and a couple latches and then we will be done. But here are the stalls. You can see, turned out good. And then I have a piece of plywood here cut that I'll be putting over the front there once I get this other door hung. So I'm gonna go get the hinges right now and then I'll show you the completed. Hopefully the sun will be a little better position. Stalls are completed. And we have Nancy and Nellie in them. 
Had to get these two separated because Nelly here is due any day now. And Nancy is not far behind. But the stalls turned out really well. I'm pretty happy. I'll try to stand back and get a better look. Had to get some latches for it and hinges, but that cattle, cattle panel fencing. Uh, I love the look of it. I actually did all the stalls over here too with it. And I just love it. Just nice clean look. Just looks nice. So there it is. They are all done, ready for babies. Moved baby Athena over here in our chick pen for now. But yeah, it was kind of a challenge because this part of the barn is old. It's probably 20 years old. And you know, over the years, just shifting and moving and heaving, you know, everything's not square anymore. And uh, you know, it's really tough to get everything lined up and you know, the cement here is cracking and, you know, things like that. So, but came out very well, very happy with it and uh, should be, can't wait till we see our babies here pretty soon. And that cat's claw fasteners, if you can see, that I used absolutely amazing like I said I'll put a link in the video below but in the description below that you you know on these ones here when I built all these stalls in here I use staples I'll show you if they're on the back side so you can see but if you can see I, I use staples all the way down and that's not fun Look at all these I put together, all with staples, you know? And um, it's a lot of time and, you know, pounding staples isn't fun in the two by fours. So those cat's claws, you can put easy three to one compared to a staple. Like if I was doing fence posts or everything, anything, I would use those on it. And you, the doors turned out good. Just a nice overall clean look. So pretty happy with this, with the stalls. So there is my stall build. Dual stall build. <laughs> so thanks for watching. God bless you all.